What's up everyone, it's Group64 to the guys brand new videos and in today's video I'm basically gonna show you my brand new mug that I made uh, actually that I finished because it actually took me like uh, quite some time to make that build I'm gonna talk a little bit about that so that's Red Proposal from Call of Duty Mobile so let's just go into the, the, the mug so this mock is probably, uh, I'll say my favorite mock that I made, and it's probably one of the, like, best that I made, uh, in my opinion. There's, uh, some that I made that I didn't show you. Uh, I'm probably gonna make that in the future. Uh, so there's, like, the Warbots, uh, theme. Uh, there was the Yellow Jacket, the, the Rainbow Dragon, I made the Pursuit, the Raptor Paddock, uh, from Jurassic World. So I did some crazy things, uh... I actually don't have that much, uh, that much, that, that, I don't actually have that much mock, but, uh, when I, when I, when I'm, when I, I just, I'm in something and I just try, I can make like crazy things like this thing. Uh, so yeah, so let's just go inside of it and I'm just going to show you everything. So Ripple Puzzle from Call of Duty Mobile, I'm just going to show you a picture. I'm going to put you a picture, uh, right now, um, just, just right now. So you'll be able to actually see uh, how it looks in, in, in the game, actually. So it's from Call of Duty Mobile. Um, and it's a really, really cool character skin. It's actually one of my favorite because uh, when I first got it and I saw it, I was like, bro, I can make out of Lego. It made me think a lot. And made me think a lot. It made me think a lot of Lego. Bro, my English is bad today. Um, so yeah, it made me think a lot of, uh, of Lego. And also... Rubik's cube. Uh, I got uh, I got some some cubes, you know, some some good Rubik's cube, and it made me think a lot about it because it's actually all the same colors. It's just, I mean, it's inside of this you can just found every single color of the cube Rubik: blue, yellow. Uh, there's some green parts. There's not a lot of green. Orange. Uh, white head and feet. And, uh, yeah, so that's really about it. And then there's the middle that is all gray, uh, and it got some blacks, uh, with some accessories. So it's really, really cool. Just going to put that here. There we go. So, yeah, so, uh, here's Ripper Puzzle. Um, so yeah, so like I said, that took me some, uh, I'll say, um, I'm just, just short story. Uh, I started when the figure, when actually the character came, uh, just was launched in the game. So in March uh, 2020, uh, yeah, like one year ago, uh, and I just started building the body and the head and like the two arms, and I just left uh, the build on my desk because I was tired of making it, and I actually never touched it since I will say one or two months. Uh, I don't re quite remember, but yeah. Uh, so I post some some picture on Facebook, Discord, uh, you know some 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 somewhere on the internet and uh, I also made a videos that I showed you like some teasers of the thing um and I was like bro I'm gonna show you the there's a mock uh, review to the uh, tomorrow and I actually just didn't make the mock review just a little explanation I was filming and this thing actually totally got destroyed uh, it fell uh it fell and it totally got destroyed now it's really really more solid it's like my fourth version now nothing will break uh, I mean, some something can break, but not all the entire mock. So I made it a lot more stable. I made it a lot more stuff that make him more strong, and I'm gonna say more manipulable. Like uh, my other version, the the whole version before I decide to rebuild it entirely, uh, was like uh, uh, I was like um, a friend came to my to my house, and I was like. I just show him the, the the thing and I was like, bro, please don't touch it because you it will break. It will break if you don't know how to manipulate it. To manipulate it, it will break. Uh, sorry for my English, by the way. I'm just really bad. But um, but yeah, so uh, I decided to make it more solid and more strong so then people can just take it and like, you know, play a little bit with it. Yeah, but if you move it fast, okay. It looks like the real one. You, I'm gonna put a picture on the videos, but it looks like the real one. 
And yeah, so I decided to make as realistic as I can. Uh, so it looks really like the real one in game and it just looks amazing guys. I don't know Don't know if you know the things but it looks amazing. So yeah, so let's go. Uh, let's go ahead I'm gonna show you. So first of all, there's a minifigure uh, At his side uh, That's little uh, really little so the the figure is about 9.4 9.5 inches tall so it's a little bit it's a little tiny uh i mean it's a tiny bit taller than uh the lego uh, ray from star wars like the binacle versions i mean that's the lego version and that's the binacle version so you can all see them side by side uh and yeah so i really tried uh first my objective wasn't to make it a little bit taller or as you know i just tried to make it look as realistic as i was able to make it uh, so yeah, and it turns that it actually it's actually at a good size I mean, I can do like other figures and it will Like legit be like the good size for like stop motion and stuff like that it I just want to mention that those are not this mark because I didn't make other mark like that, but uh, this mark is not as Like it doesn't have all like the playability as for example a binacle app Okay, it got some, you, you'll see, but it's not the same level as Bionicle. I tried to not make as, I, I just tried to make it as realistic as possible and as cool and as just, you know, realistic as possible. That is basically uh, what was in my head when I built it. Uh, so yeah, so the build looks amazing. I did the AK Steel Blue, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna show you it, but it looks amazing. Definitely think it is really great little builds right there. Just gonna try to focus. Let's go. So I try also to make the iron sight. That is not. I mean, look. So there's the iron sight. Then the the stock. Then the the handle there. Uh, and also made the banana magazine. That can be removed. I mean, you can remove it and put it in place right there. And. I really tried to make it as realistic as possible, and as you know, like the the character can just. Take it in his end and just, you know, you can do some pause with it. Uh, so yeah, so this is where it goes. The rep puzzle uh, actually looks amazing to me and probably to you. I wish though. Uh, so yeah, so that's the mock. Uh, it's a really, really cool mock. Uh, it took me some times to build it. The hardest part was uh, the body, the head, and I'll say the, uh, a little bit the legs. Uh, but the hardest part was like those two things right there, the head and like the the body so yeah uh so here's the mock uh it looks amazing so you can see from front from side I'm just gonna put the head there here we go and from the back so this is the mock from uh with all this glory i definitely think from every single angle this thing is cool to look I really try my best. So yeah. So like I said, it got some good motions, uh, some playability. Uh, first, the arms move. Um, uh, you can see that. Also, the body you can rotate it like that, and it's not gonna fall. You can really like put it like that, and it's all okay. So it's not gonna fall. Um, so the arms move. Um, there's uh, this right there that moves. I don't know how it's called in English. Sorry. So that moves also. Um, the hands also can rotate around so you can do some good poses with that uh i'm just gonna show you a hand how it actually looks like but the hands uh can also like i made like fingers and those fingers can can move so i really try to make some realistic things and uh also i was able to make a thumb to make thumb so this is really cool so each end i have a thumb uh but i'm not putting the thumbs when I'm actually putting a weapon in the hand, but the, this is the other one, and it goes over there. So there it goes. You can definitely do some some cool stuff with that. You can do some some fist and everything. So that is really really cool. I just think it is really great. So yeah. So here's the two arms. Everything's right there. 
Uh, the head also can rotate, so if it's right, you can actually make it 360 without any problem, and you can go up, down, so it got some cool little motions right there. Uh, it's definitely not as a binacle would have, but it's something like I would say the base. Uh, like I said, the body can turn, and it's actually really solid. My first version, the body and this part right there, I don't know how to call it. Um, but like it was only connected with like a one stud in the middle, so I was able to turn it, but it wasn't like solid at all. And uh, like now I can just take it and shook it like that, and I know I'm not. It's not gonna fall. I can just move it around like that. It's is really more solid as before. And I'm just gonna show you how it is. It is really, really funny because you can literally open it. Uh, so you can open that part over here, this part over here, and it's connected with this thing. So if you think that it's not solid, you can just uh, push these things and just like that and just push. And it's gonna basically just be better. And you can, uh, you can move that. Let's go and now close every single thing right there. So yeah, so you can open it and uh, I was able to just make that so then you can just secure it a little bit. Uh, so yeah, so that's the front, uh, the body and the chest. I really tried to make as realistic as possible. I made some of the, the little details on his body. Uh, I made his like his two blue chest plate with his great things right there. I found those pieces really cool because that makes it really realistic. So I just put that because I thought it would be a great idea. And yeah, it's really, really clean. I just really love it. So this is where it actually goes. It is really, really cool. Um, uh, so yeah, so uh, from the sides, uh, this is how it looks. That's the sides. And then it's actually some like crazy, crazy stuff that goes there. It's actually crazy, but yeah. And then there's also the back. So with the two reactor right there, I tried to make my best. That was really hard. Actually, the back was hard. It's not like the best uh, parts of the build, but I think it definitely still looks really great. So yeah, so I built like the entire body is built on this pieces right there. And uh, it's actually really funny, but uh, but yeah. So like I said, the, the, the arms move, this shoulder should be right there. Here we go. Um, so that's all good. This is how uh, the body is built, all the details right there. So yeah, this thing was really a monster to build. Also the head, the head is really, really cool. I'm just gonna take it off to show you the head. So it actually, it is, uh, it moves on this little things right there. So yeah, and uh, that's the, the head. I think it definitely looks really clean. I think it is a really cool stuff, like, you can really, you can really feel like this is real proposal head, you know. So yeah, so that's really cool. I really like the head. I, I wish I could do better with the head, but I think it looks cool. I can definitely notice that this is real proposal head. So yeah, so the head's right there. I'm just gonna put it as like that. All right. Um, so that's really about, uh, the thing. So you, like I said, you can detach the hopper body and like the legs and everything. So everything's connected. You can shake it, move it around and it's never going to fall off. And you can see that nothing fall off. Everything is really, is really solid. That wasn't, uh, the case in my first version. So I'm happy that this one is really more solid and strong and everything. Um, yeah. So now the legs, so the legs also can move. So you can move them, both legs. And I try to make as detailed as I can. So with some little little bricks like there with different colors, uh, same thing with that side. And I also did include the straps with like the things that is attached to them. So there is like the pistol thing, so you can put like a pistol there. And I really tried to make it as realistic as I was able to make it. It do all over, like it, it just wrapped the entire leg. I think that's really cool. And then, uh, so yeah, so there's uh, this little thing right there. It's not a lot of motion, but that still move. And that also turns. So both legs, both legs do that. 
And then there's also the the fruit that do it too. So yeah, I really did try my best to make it like, you know, with some good motions, but I really, my main objective was to make it as realistic as possible, but with also some motion. And I think I did a great job. It's like I said, definitely not, not the, like binacle or at another level, but this is still, I think really, really, really great for what it is supposed to be. So yeah, uh, there's also the back. You can see that I try to make some, some of the parts of the back. Uh, it was a little bit hard. But I was I was able to make it, so I, I make it. One thing I really like, I did, I I think I really did a great job with the the foot or the feet or whatever. I don't remember. Sorry, oh, my English my English is not the, the best, but yeah. So I tried to make my best, and I do think it it is really realistic. I do think it looks like the real Ripper puzzle. I do think it is like. I really think it is good. I really think it is like what it is supposed to be you know so uh so yeah so guys uh that was the build uh also i just want to show you also with the ak i did made another weapon the msmc uh the legendary one so the space station so this is just first version i'm probably gonna make another one with also an iron sight or let's try to include like to make them realistic but yeah i also made that just because it's the legendary gun that goes with the skin so I mean, I, I built it, but yeah, so guys, uh, this was the build. I don't want to make the video any longer because, uh, I did like two, two, two other videos before that one. And it was like more than 20 minutes. So I'm gonna, I, I really try to make it as quick as I can. So this is my build. Um, I don't know if I said it, but I just got finished that build. Uh, I'll say like 40, 45 minutes ago. Uh, now probably one hour because of the time, but yeah. Uh, and I basically just made it and prepared so I'll be able to make an how to build Ripper puzzle uh, in Lego. So be prepared for that because that's going to happen. This thing, you'll be able to build it from your home, guys. Um, so, um, yeah, uh, I mean, it it takes some pieces to build, but it is a really cool, like, final result and everything. So, yeah. So, guys, uh, it was Ripper Puzzle from Call of Duty Mobile. Uh I'm gonna pose. I'm gonna put a uh, an image probably at the start of the videos, so you'll be able to to see it. Uh, it really looks. But guys, hope you enjoyed the videos. If you did, just please put a big thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I think it would be super great. Uh, now, I, by the way, guys, I just forget that, but we are at three thousand subscriber. More than that, uh, like three three thousand and one hundred. I'm not sure. Something around that. Thank you so much, guys. It's like, bro, I'm like super happy. And I forget, I always forget, like I'm never like really looking to my subs uh, or making like things. But guys, thank you so much. Uh, it's like, I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, so guys, uh, just because of that, I think that would be like the 3000 uh, special videos, but I'm probably going to make another thing. Uh, but yeah, so thank you so much, guys. And hope you like the videos. And uh I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Also, just before I close the thing, just guys, just if you have any suggestion of any things I can try and build, just tell me in the comment section. It could be like probably other guns or figure of Call of Duty Mobile or Call of Duty in general. Uh, I'm just a mobile fan, but yeah. And uh, also, I just want to know your thought about this fantastic build. I really want to know your thought about it. So, uh, so yeah. So guys. Hope you like, hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.